Hi, we're going to talk a little bit about IP addressing on the wireless network. Um, when a device creates a P2P context, one of the things that occurs is it gets an IP address from the GGSN. Uh, the IP address is what is utilized for the device to communicate wirelessly to a host server on the back end. It also can be used for the host server to reach out to the device and communicate. So it will support, it allows you to support both mobile originated and mobile terminated data. Um, a device can get three types of IP addresses. It can get a dynamic IP address, which is probably what is most typical, a dynamic private IP address. So these are IP addresses that are utilized, um, that sit in the 10, the 192, or the 172 range, depending on which, uh, how the carrier has configured their IP addressing schemes. Um, this is the most common type of IP addressing, and essentially the device will when it reaches the GGSN, the GGSN will pull from a pool of IP addresses that it has and assign it out to the device. Um, very simple to configure, um, and most devices will support uh, receiving a dynamic uh, IP address. Uh, the next type of IP addressing would be fixed IP addressing. Um, and this would um, ensure that the device has the same IP address every time it connects to the network. Um, again, we'd be talking about private IP addressing in this case. Um, and in both cases, from a private dynamic and private fix, these are going to be the desirable way to connect. Um, the, the nice part about fixed IP addressing is you'll always know what the IP address is of a particular device. Um, so when you're trying to do a mobile originated session, uh, excuse me, a mobile terminated session, when the host application server is trying to reach out to the device, you'll always know what IP address um, that device will be sitting on. Now, the device needs to be in session naturally to connect. To, for the application server to communicate with it, but if the device is in session, you'll always know what IP address to utilize. If you're using a dynamic IP address, the IP address will change, um, and you'll need some mechanism either through um, DNS or some sort of API call to determine what the IP address is before you reach out to the device. The last um, type of IP address you'll see out there would be a fixed public IP address. Um, and this is actually something that we, we generally don't recommend for applications. Um, first of all, there, it, you're going to incur an increased cost by using a fixed public IP address because they are a finite resource. There are only so many public IP addresses, so carriers tend to charge a premium for them. The other problem is because it's a public IP address and it's fixed, that means that anybody who has that IP address can communicate down to the device, and you might wind up being, generating um, unnecessary traffic due to attempted hacks and things of that nature. So this is actually a really an, an unsecure way of um, deploying an MFM application.